everybody, this is Lance from Errant Gaming, and I would like to watch a Dragon Quest Treasures trailer. Um, let's watch the trailer. Dive in. Oops. Can't tell if the sound is coming through. I'll leave it. Terrible opening for a trailer. A voiceover? What's the point? Their lives are about to be turned upside down as they embark on a tremendous adventure. A chance encounter with two strange creatures leads to a rip roaring treasure hunt in a mystical world. With flying pigs. They're transported to Draconia, an untamed land where monsters roam free. <laughs> Not at all contrived. And help the plucky pair traverse this fantastical world in pursuit of treasure. Whoa! They're sure to prove invaluable Ooh, in battle. It's, uh, live action, it looks like. Uh, I don't know. They have multiple characters, so maybe not. As they help Eric and Mia leap, take off, and Finally, they can jump. The most inaccessible locales. Draconia is brimming with treasure, and these monsters will show you the world through their eyes. So, in other words, it's Pokemon Go. Or Pokemon, not Go. Use these treasure visions to your advantage. I'm just trying really hard to be a legend is all the no self respecting treasure hunter can do without and that's breath of the wild. Base. I hereby declare this our gang's brand new bit. Is this online? Every item of treasure you find will need appraising. And as the value of the treasure in your vault goes up, so will your gang's rank. Here are the Visit the personnel department to recruit new gang members. New gang members. Or head over to the dormitories and swap your party members around. You can even send teams of monsters out on dispatch missions. Back soon. Back at last. If you're lucky, they might bring back a piece of truly exceptional treasure. Don't forget to put your favorite pieces on display in the vault. <laughs> Not bad at all. Exactly like Sell the Breath of the Wild. The base also houses a shop. Actually, at least in Breath of the Wild, you gotta put it on your walls and stuff. And a cafeteria. The animation is pretty cool. The, uh, for all your the animation needs. and the yeah, look at that. And the graphics. Draconia is also home to the seven coveted dragon stones. I was gonna say it looks very story-like, which seems lazy to me. A whole host of newfound friends. A home away from home. And a world of utterly unforgettable adventures awaits. And everyone loves a flying pig. <laughs> it's time and a flying to train. In search of your ultimate treasure. <gasps> Let's go! New for Nintendo Switch. The RPG where treasure is everything. Dragon Quest Treasures! Uh, it looks to me like something that might be good depending on the gameplay. Like I said, it, it seemed like a little bit of a cop-out in terms of and not being story-heavy. It's like, oh, we gotta 
new idea or something and we want to put it in a world, but I don't know. I'm warming up to it. I think it might be good. Again, I think it all it all depend on the gameplay. The problem with, and I don't know if this game is, but the problem with Breath of the Wild, or the rather the success of Breath of the Wild, was it had a very open world, which usually uh, games that have tried that have failed miserably. I wonder if this is going to do that, but anyway, it looks decent. It's capitalizing on the whole collect the Pokemon idea and collect treasure, collect things. We'll see. I look forward to it. I'll play it. I'm not going to buy it straight out, but I'd buy a demo or unless it gets really great reviews. Looks fun. Thanks for joining.